Hey guys, it's Vicki, and today I'm here to share with you my birthday book haul. Uh, my birthday was at the end of March, and I got some books for my birthday that I want to share with you guys. But before we get into the book haul, I have a quick announcement to make, and that is that on Sunday, April 11th, will be my fourth booktube birthday, anniversary, whatever you want to call it. And to celebrate the milestone, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So if you would like to ask me a question for the Q&A, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below or however you want to submit a question to me, uh, message me on Instagram, Goodreads, if you want to send me an email, all that contact info is in the description box too. So if you want to, please uh, send in a question because I would love to answer your questions to celebrate my birthday or anniversary or whatever you call it. I can't believe that I've already been doing this for four years. It has been such a fun experience and I'm so glad that I decided to finally do it <laughs> uh, because it has just been such a great time. So I'm really excited to celebrate and do a Q&A for you guys, so yes. Okay, now that that little announcement is done, don't forget to submit your question. <laughs> And let's go ahead and get into the book haul. Okay, so the first couple books that I'm going to talk about are books that Bobby got me for my birthday. Bobby over at Bobby Reads um, sent me a couple of books for my birthday. So thank you so much, Bobby. The first one, actually, I don't have handy, um, and I already read it. Um, she got me Me by Elton John because we wanted to do a buddy read of it. And I was like, oh, well, I got to get my hands on the book. And so she got me the book. So I read that one in March, and it was a great read. So... Yes, thank you for that, Bobby. Um, and then the other books, though, she got me two other books. And the first one, this is going to be kind of a spoiler uh, for those of you that um, are in the Random Reads book club that Bobby and I run over on Goodreads, uh, because this is going to be in an upcoming month. Um, I'm not sure exactly which month we're going to be doing this, but I have been wanting to kind of dip into fantasy. As you guys know, I'm not a huge fantasy reader. I find it a little intimidating, honestly. Bobby, on the other hand, is a huge fan of fantasy. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay, I will give it a try if you can find a book that you think I could, would be a good for like a beginner, for a newbie. And so she's actually already read this book. She really enjoyed it and she thought it would be perfect for me or anybody who is kind of new to the genre to read. And it's called Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Ames. And this one is about a group of uh, people who at one time they were one of the best groups out there um, in terms of like, I'm assuming they were like fighting evil or something like that, but they were like the best of the best. And then years kind of went by and they all just sort of broke apart and kind of started doing their own thing. Um, it says here that they've grown apart and grown old, fat, drunk, or a combination of the three. And then all of a sudden something happens and, and happens one day where one of the ex-bandmates basically shows up and says, hey, we got to get back together to go and save something or do something. <laughs> so basically like we have to get the band back together. So <laughs> she said that this was really uh, the pacing was great, it's really funny, and it it basically, it's a fantasy book, but it also plays on that trope that you often see in fantasy and kind of almost makes fun of it a little bit. So she said it was really fun and that I would probably really like it. So yeah, as a spoiler, this is going to be coming up in a random reads, as a random reads pick um, soon. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to try it. Like I said, I am not a huge fan of fantasy, but maybe this book will change my mind. And then the next book that Bobby got me, I'm so excited for because this is one that I really wanted to read last year and just didn't get around to it. It was like one of those books that got away. And Bobby loved this book. She gave it five stars. That was awesome. So I feel like I'm also going to really love it. And that is The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. And this is about a girl named Emmanuel, I believe her name is, um, that lives in this sort of uh, puritanical um, town and she is uh, herself a bit of an outcast because she is a uh, mixed race and so she's sort of shunned by the town a little bit um, but she's like doing her best to just sort of keep her head down stay out of trouble fit in um but then she ends up for some reason i'm not sure she ends up in this like dark forbidden forest where years ago these witches lived and these witches were killed and turns out those witches uh, are like haunting the area. And they give her this diary that belonged to her mother who has now passed. 
And in reading this diary, she learns a lot about her mother and her like heritage and all this stuff. And all this like all these bad secrets about the church um, and everything in her little town. And how so I don't know. I've heard that this book is awesome and that um it's just perfect for especially for like fall time so i think i'm gonna save this one for the fall and read it um but yeah anything even just like witches and that kind of stuff just really interests me so i'm so excited that i got this one so then the next couple books i'm gonna share are books that my husband got me for my birthday my sweet sweet husband um the first book that he got me is burnt offerings by robert morasco and i, I added this one to my TBR after um, listening to an episode of Books in the Freezer where this book was talked about because I had never heard of this book before and I know it's also been made into a movie but again never heard of it um, but it's about this couple that are living in Queens in the 1970s because the book was originally published in the 70s and they come across this um, they kind of want to get out and go on vacation and they come across this really great deal for this um, rental house uh, out in upstate New York where the rent for the whole summer is super super cheap and they're just like we can't pass this deal up right and the deal is though you get this really cheap rate but the kind of um the deal is that you have to there is an old woman living in the house um in this kind of like room i want to say it's like an attic room or something uh, behind this big old wooden door and they have to feed her every day and so <laughs> for some reason that whole concept is just really creepy to me like okay you're staying in this this rental house this big beautiful mansion rental house but you're not alone because there's this old lady in a room and you don't know anything about her and you have to feed her and it's just I don't know there's something very unsettling about it so when I heard about this I was like I really want to read that so my husband got me this one so thank you Austin the next book that my husband got me is The Hollow Places by T Kingfisher and this one is about a woman who I believe lives in North Carolina. It's one of the Carolinas, North Carolina. And she is taking care of her ailing uncle who lives in this house that is, um, it's a, like a historical home and then it doubles as like a museum of sorts. And uh, one day she's locking up for the night and she finds this hole in one of the walls. And through the hole, it leads to almost like another world. And obviously she's really like, perplexed by this like what is this what's happening and she goes through and explores and quickly discovers that this place though magical and kind of amazing also has a darkness to it and that whole concept to me is just super cool of stumbling across another world by something like that like a hole in a wall in a home or something like to me that's just it's cool but it's also kind of creepy and the whole idea of like exploring other worlds is also very interesting so i'm really excited to read this one and then the last one that my husband got me is black magic women terrifying tales by scary sisters edited by Sumiko salson and this is a uh, story short story collection um where it's 18 stories i think um i think it's 18 stories and they're all told by black women so in each story puts um black women kind of front and center uh in the stories and so yeah, the just I heard about this by uh, from um, who was it? It was somebody on Instagram uh, posted about this, and it sounded really interesting. And I'm always down for like short story collections that are horror short story collections. Um, so yeah, and then this this cover also I think is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to read this one. I don't know none of the names um, are familiar to me. <laughs> Uh, but who knows, maybe that way I'll find some new female horror writers. Okay, then the next two books that I want to talk about were gifts from my mother-in-law, uh, Tina. So if you're watching this, thank you very much, Tina, for sending these my way. Um, the first one that she got me for my birthday is A Lot So by Darcy Little Badger. And this is a speculative fiction book about a little girl named A Lot So who is indigenous. Um, and the story takes place in sort of an alternate America. So it's very similar to ours, but there are like subtle differences. Um, one of the differences is that um, there is a lot of more like magic and monsters and everything. And um, in this story, Alazzo has this gift where she can raise the ghosts of dead animals. Um, and her cousin, I believe it's a, her cousin, is killed. 
and she basically tries to use her gift to figure out what happened to her cousin. Uh, so this book uh, I've heard is really, really good. Um, the cover, <laughs> just the whole book itself is just really, really pretty. Um, and then each um, chapter head has like little illustrations at the beginning that are also, I don't know, they're just really pretty to me. So I'm really excited to read this. I've Like I said, I've heard great things and, and I can't wait to dive in. So the next one uh, that my mother-in-law got me is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. Everyone I know that's read this book has absolutely loved this book. So I'm super pumped that she sent this one to me. Um, but it's about a guy who um, goes to this orphanage where magical children live. And there are six children there in particular that they are worried, this like kind of the kind of magical powers that be are worried that these children are dangerous and that they could possibly end the world. And so they want this guy to come and he comes there to get to know these children and to protect them or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but to me it's just the whole like magic vibe it just sounds really interesting. Um, and yeah, I've heard that this is so good that it is also very like emotional, tugs at the heartstrings. So ah, I'm really, really excited for this. All right, and then the last three books I got myself <laughs> because I always gotta treat myself for my birthday, right? Um, okay, so the first one that I got is one that is an, definitely an anticipated read, and that is Goddess of Filth by V. Castro. And this little bitty book, uh, it is very, it is very compact and cute, I have to say. Um, and also the spine is, is really interesting. I don't know if it's gonna focus. There it goes. It's just super cool. So this one is about a group of girls living in Texas who. One night they do a seance, kind of like for fun, and they um, summon a demon, basically, and they and one and the demon possesses one of them or something like that. So this ticks a lot of boxes for me um, because I love possession stories for one. I love girl groups um, for two uh, because I've heard this one that it's been compared to the craft, which to me is like ah, because that's just such a like iconic movie from my adolescence and so that was definitely like when I heard that I was like yeah this this book is for me it's so it's girl group they're having to save their friend I'm assuming who's possessed by a demon it just sounds like a really good time I didn't realize that it was so short it's only about 140 pages so I'm sure it's gonna pack a punch I'm super pumped this is another one that I heard about because of the books in the freezer podcast so yes I'm excited. I am super ready to read this. So the next book that I picked up for myself is I picked up because I'm going to be reading it in I think June for Roxanne Gay's book club. Uh, that book is Of Women and Salt by Gabriela Garcia and this is sort of a generational story um, centering around three women. Um, the first woman is named Jeanette and she is living in Miami. She's an addict and she's really grappling with some of her family's history and her relationship specifically with her mother. Um, so you get her story. You also get her mother Carmen's um, point of view and a little bit of her story uh, because she also is grappling with um, issues that she has with her mother. And so it's all about um, just how these three women um, have affected each other's lives. Um, and the little blurb at the end, I really liked and it really grabbed me. And it says, a haunting meditation on the choices of mothers, the legacy of the memories they carry, and the tenacity of women who choose to tell their stories despite those who wish to silence them. So, I don't know, again, this is like a little book. I feel like it's gonna pack a punch. I'm really looking forward to reading it in June. And the last book that I picked up for myself is another anticipated read. I am so excited for this book. I've heard amazing things. Uh, the book I picked up is The Final Revival of Opal and Nav by Donnie Walton. And this is, has been compared to Daisy Jones and the Six uh, because it deals, uh, the narrative style, I don't know if the whole book is this, done this way or if just part of it is, but it, it's an oral history sort of narrative style like Daisy Jones and the Six um, where it's like the characters are being interviewed by someone and kind of telling their story. Um, but the story revolves around um, a woman named Opal who uh, grew up in Detroit, which that was like kind of a buzzword for me because I live in the Detroit area so any stories that even remotely take place in Detroit I'm automatically interested in 
but she is um, a, uh, she's into punk rock. Um, and so she comes of age in Detroit and decides like she wants to do, like start like a punk rock band. Um, she teams up with Nav uh, and they become this kind of like duo. I believe though they end up in New York. But then they have like this, there's like a big falling out or something. And then years later, they're being interviewed uh, by a, I'm assuming a rock journalist that like wants to hear their story. So it does have, um, you know, Daisy Jones and the Six vibes, uh, but it's also very different. So I don't know. I'm excited because of the whole like, you know me, the whole thing with like rock bands and <laughs> how they work. Uh, and like the dramas between band members, um, the whole like oral history type of narrative, I really enjoy. Um, and then like I said, the the ties to Detroit are also really exciting for me. So I'm super excited to check this out. And yeah, I can't wait to read it. All right guys, so those are all the books that I got for my birthday. I forgot to mention, my, um, my mother-in-law also got me, see if I can find them really quick because I stuck them in one of the books. She also got me, oh, I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. She also got me these cute bookmarks. They're um, Vincent Van Gogh. So I thought that was kind of cool too. I always, I always love a good bookmark. Um, so yeah, I would say all in all, it was a pretty good uh, birthday haul. <laughs> a lot of these books I'm super, super excited to read. Um, and so yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I keep saying I'm excited, I'm sorry, but I am. Uh, let me know down below uh, if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, which books should I prioritize. Like I said, I kind of already have plans for a couple of them uh, for you know various book clubs or whatever. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's any that you think I should definitely like bump up on the list because I want to know that. So, all right, I, that's all I have for today, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will talk with you soon. Oh, and don't forget to submit your questions for my Q&A, okay? All right, thanks so much for watching, <laughs> bye.